Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nicole and Richie channel. This video is one I've been very excited to film. It is our official thrifted nursery tour. So many of you guys know Richie and I love thrifting and in this Pinterest era, as I like to call it, there is so much pressure to have nice things and people think that you need to spend tons of money on home decor to do so, but you really don't have to. And so we hope that this video inspires you to be wise with your money, to get thrifty and be creative and just have fun doing it. So many of the thrifted items are not just from actual thrift stores. We also bought a lot of this stuff from apps like OfferUp and LetGo, um, Facebook garage sale groups, and then there are a few of our like favorite Etsy shops or small businesses that we like to support as well. So we'll share all the info with you in the description below as well as along in the, the way in the video. So let's jump right in. I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I so as you walk into the nursery, we have the dresser and the changing station on the right side of the room. The dresser, it's in perfect condition and we actually found it on OfferUp listed at $250, but we bought it for 50 bucks. So Richie did an awesome job finding that. Um, we also do have the Kikaroo. We found this on a website that has discounted items. Um, so we bought this for $100 and it was unused. We just sanitized it to make sure it was good to go. The mirror right above it, I've been seeing it everywhere and have been trying to find it and actually found this one at Hobby Lobby for half off, so we paid $35 for it. The shelf on the right, I had so much fun putting it together and my favorite item that I actually found at the thrift store is this vintage wooden mouse. It has so much character to it. At least I think it's a mouse. I'm not sure. It kind of looks like a bear or a cat, but comment below what animal you think it is. <laughs> I found it at the Salvation Army for $7. This vase I also found at Salvation Army, just 10 bucks. I just loved it. I thought it looked really unique. And then this round wicker caddy I also found at the Salvation Army for $10. We just store some baby items in there. There's kind of a wicker theme going on throughout the room. So wicker items are actually really easy to find at the thrift store. That wooden accordion rack on the wall, I really wanted for the room and ended up finding it from the same person who sold me the rug, which was listed on Let Go at $20 and they just threw in the accordion rack along with it. So moving on to the other side of the room, that's where we have our crib and our rocking chair. The crib we actually got um, secondhand from my sister. It was like a gray color before. We just painted it white and saved some money on that. And of course we can't ignore this gorgeous piece above the crib. Um, so this is from an Etsy shop called JK Macrame and she makes gorgeous pieces. I just think it's the perfect like statement piece above the crib and I was looking for a macrame piece and so happy when I found this. These crib sheets I'm obsessed with. They're from Copper Pearl. Um, they're so adorable, kind of go with like the, I guess, animal theme we have going on. We don't have an official theme to the room, but I guess there's just a lot of animals happening. So we're going to go with an animal theme. <laughs> the llama stuffed animal you see here is from Cuddle and Kind. His name is Lucas the Llama. Cuddle and Kind is an awesome company that feeds hungry children for every doll they sell. So I love supporting them. In this corner, I really wanted to create a very like peaceful space for reading and rocking the baby. Um, the thing is, rocking chairs are very expensive. This one we found listed um, on a Facebook group from a local store. It was listed at $257. We ended up getting it for $200, so at least we got a, a bit of a discount there. These pillows I love, they're from Woven Nook, and I do have a 10% off discount code for them if you want to check that out in the info bar below. So I've been looking for a hanging plant holder for this plant that I have, and finally found this one on an Etsy shop called Little Knot Shop, and it has that macrame look that I have going on, which I love and just think it looks so good hanging there. This wicker side table I actually found it on offer up and only paid $10 for it. The small wicker basket you see there is just from Salvation Army, $10. And then this book caddy, I was trying to look for like a magazine rack or book caddy like this for the longest. Finally found this at Salvation Army for $15 and it's exactly the style that I wanted and I was so 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 happy I found it. There's so much character in it and I love like the side detail there as well. 
On the windowsill, I just have one of our plants, a little ceramic elephant I made back in high school. And this adorable wooden block alphabet piggy bank. <laughs> That's a mouthful. My sister actually has an Etsy shop called Curated Home Market where she finds vintage and antique items from thrift stores and restores them and resells them. So this was a piece she found especially for Jace's room. And I just think it's the cutest thing that I could put all our loose change in. Just wanted to point out the curtains. They were simple, plain white curtains I already had. And I actually just took these little pom-poms that I had and sewed them on. I've seen curtains like this at Anthropology that are way too expensive, so I just made my own. I'm, a sweet baby. I'm super grateful because we have plenty of closet space to organize Jace's things. And I wasn't able to really thrift much in here, but I did want to point out the striped bins on top and all of the white bins in here are from Target. They're pretty inexpensive and just great for organizing things. And I will link those below as well. I was never the one to okay, just some last items I wanted to point out, which are not really for the nursery, but extra baby items that we found for inexpensive prices. This IKEA high chair, I know a ton of people have it. It's not even that expensive to begin with, but I found it in a Facebook group for $10. And so that was nice <laughs> to just kind of reuse and recycle. And then the Mama Roo, this is a popular item for babies right now. Um, we found it listed on offer up at $85, bought it for $70. I'm pretty sure this retails for over 200 bucks and it was perfect condition and works. So wanted to point that out as well. Thanks so much for watching our video, everyone. We hope you enjoyed it and feel inspired to save money and help reduce waste by thrifting. All the details, again, will be in the description if you're curious about any of the items. And make sure to leave any questions you have below in the comments. And we will see you in our next video. But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors and never respect drum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, 